Hi guys, V here. Today I wanted to take a look at one of my old diaries. This is from 2009-2012. Way back when I had a boyfriend. Quick side note, this is V from the future. The last video I made on this, my middle school romance video, I said that I had found five entries regarding this whole fiasco, but I just realized that I actually have a bunch more. So that's why I wanted to make a second video outlining more what happened in the diary entries that came with it because I think they're really funny. But anyway, Anyway, back to V from the past. Really, really cringy, and I figured I gotta share it with you guys because this is embarrassing. So this was June 10th, 2010. News, news, news! So like, Connor was chatting Amanda and he told her that he liked me, and Amanda told Taqua, and Taqua told me. I'm so happy! But she told me not to tell anyone, so shh. I didn't tell anyone, and I don't think I'll ever. Anyways, tomorrow is Spirit Day. It's Blast from the Past theme, and I'm gonna look really 80s. See pic on the next page. I hope Connor likes it. I'm such a, like, girl here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, you know what? So his code name that I made up for him was super clever. It was H41, which stands for hottie, and then I put a random number on there to confuse anyone who dares try to figure out what it means. June 12th, 2010. News! So at PE, we were running laps, and as I was passing Connor, he sped up, then I did, and suddenly we're racing! But all of a sudden, he just stops. Oh well. Ah, uh, gotta love some middle school flirting. June 29th, 2010. OMG, Connor admitted that he liked me. When he did, I told him I kind of liked him too. He said he liked winking at me. <laughs> when I asked him what his second place crush was, he said he only liked me and he dumped Melissa. I'm in love. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hello there. OMG, OMG. Can you tell I was excited? I was excited. July 1st, 2010. Connor texted me, he said his first place crush has extremely pretty eyes, a great personality, and is gorgeous. I said mine has longish blonde hair, funny, and cool hair flip. He's at a baseball tournament in Oregon right now. He's so athletic. I miss him. <laughs> so cringy. Like, th this is how, you know, middle schoolers flirt. <laughs> So after some middle school flirting, Connor and I finally got um, together, I guess, we were dating, which I don't count as an actual boyfriend because that doesn't count. <laughs> it just doesn't. We never held hands, we never, uh, really all we did was like flirt and like make eyes at each other for like a month and then it was over. September 4th, 2010. Typical weekend. I ate a sandwich, I checked my Facebook, got a boyfriend, wrote in my journal. Typical. Not Connor's my boyfriend. I, Versavia, have a boyfriend. Me. I can't believe it. He's gonna give me a pic that he drew of me. And maybe even a hug. I'm so happy. Never got that hug, by the way. October 13th, 2010. This is the part where I got mad at Connor for something he did. Something horrible. Look. Look at that picture. Can you see what's happening? Connor would rather play football than be with me. We don't have recess together, and on the one of the really rare days that we do, he plays football. Before he played, he's like, what's up? And then, ooh, can I play? Asking me if he can play football. And I'm like, oh, sure. Gave him a sad smile. On the other hand, he smiled broadly and excitedly and walked backwards saying he would be on the bus. We talked on the bus sometimes. Sure, on the bus, there's no football. I stood there awkwardly for a few moments, then I saw Tasha and hang out with her for the rest of the recess. Tasha told me that she heard Connor didn't like me and liked Maddie. I felt terrible all through science. I sort of told Mark. When I got on the bus, Connor was late and the bus was packed so I couldn't sit by him. But the second he sat down, Mark is like, she said you'd rather play football than hang out with her. Ugh, stupid Mark. I didn't ask him to say anything. When we got off the bus, he asked me if I was mad, and I said, well, it's just we never have the same recess, and today, we finally did, and I was kind of hoping you would be with me. He said, yeah, I should have, but it was just so tempting. TEMPTING! That makes me feel like he really wants to play football, but there's this annoying little girl who wants to play with him. Once more, not even once, he complimented me, or had been flirty in person, or he never even hugged me. EVER! He's the fattest piggy that a pig could ever pig to a pig a pig an on. This day is not like how I expected it to be. <laughs> what in the world? I didn't 
cast as a kid or ever, so this is what I resorted to. Piggy pig on a pig fat pig. October 14th, 2010. Today, Connor acted as if nothing happened. I sort of felt the goofy smile after I talked to him, but the sadness and anger withheld most of it. Why can't Connor be more boyfriendish? He acts to me as if I'm just any other person. I wonder if he still likes me. Well, this is the sad end to this story. October 15th, 2010. Thursday, 5.56 p.m. I don't know how to start writing this, so I'll just start. Connor broke up with me, sort of. Well, not really. He said, and I quote, I need to talk to you about something. We never see each other. I'm not breaking up with you. I just think we should take a break. Off the bus, he said, like, I don't really want us to fall apart because we only see each other on the bus. What's weird is that every time he was like, don't be sad or something, I wasn't showing any sadness. All I said was, I think that's a great idea. Or, sure, I'm not sad. I think I handled it very well. It's like he expected me to break down and start crying right there. A quick update on last week's video about my hard drive. Unfortunately, it it's gone. It's dead. Everything on it. One and a half terabytes that was on there is done. Like, if there's, I can't get it back. Uh, so there's that. But it's okay. I'll figure it out and hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. And an update on my phone. I got it. Um, it's not completely perfect. I think for some reason it's, um, the battery is supposed to last, a, like, almost two days. But it's not lasting me long at all. I don't know if that's just because I watch a lot of Netflix or is it just because the battery sucks but I don't know can anyone tell me is this normal I I don't know but other than that it's a really good phone I'd still recommend it to anyone who's wanting a new phone be sure to like me on Facebook Twitter Instagram snapchat also be sure to subscribe and press that notification button so you get notified every time I post a new video today's Russian word of the day is plage which means beach and you can remember that because it kind of sounds like play like let's go play on the beach Let's go play on the plage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Here's a little bonus entry from my recovery from my horrible, horrible breakup.